So recently, Microsoft released its first Xbox Series footage. Yeah, it included fun. the game Assassin's Creed, Valhalla. Valhalla. Yeah. And Valhalla. many more. Mm-hmm. Some sports titles. Yeah. And some crazy core game known as Scorn. Scorn. Bro, that Scorn. thing looked crazy. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, it. it's it's it stuck out the most immediately. Uh, yeah. Just like visually, the graphics and the art style, so, uh, it really gravitated towards that. I got you. So, so what do you guys think about it? The well, the I mean, I'm gonna be quite honest. The like graphics, yeah, they look good. They look solid. But I didn't. I thought I was gonna see something like way crazier, like whole other level. To me, it's it's still on the same level that it was before. Personally. I don't mm-hmm. know how y'all feel about it, but mm-hmm. that's how I felt graphics wise. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, um, I, I can kind of see where Alan, Alan or Apollo's coming from. Uh, as someone who hasn't played video games in like a long time, and coming back and seeing like all these videos of like what they're gonna bring out and rolling out with the new Xbox, yeah, uh, it's pretty interesting to see. Uh, I definitely feel like there's has been like huge improvements in the past, uh, you know, from the past generations. But like you said, uh, you know, it still kind of it still kind of looks like a video game, yeah. In general, mm-hmm. okay. Um, especially when compared to like other things, um, you know, such as like PC. Yeah, and, and, and they're like hyping that. it up like the Xbox Series X is gonna be some like PC yeah. beater kind of deal. It's gonna be a whole other level, but mm-hmm. honestly, it doesn't look. I mean, of course, you're not gonna know until you have the con. The, is it console technically? Yeah, is it, yeah. it's still a console. Basically, right? it's still a console. Yeah, even yeah. though it looks like a PC. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. Yeah, it's but I mean, you won't know until you have a console right in front of you and you're playing mm-hmm. on it. Right. Mm-hmm. But on um, from the trailers, it didn't look like anything special. Yeah. But the games look cool. Yeah. Dirt Five looks sick. That uh, sh- what was it called? The scary looking game. The Scorn. Alien? Scorn. Scorn? Mm-hmm. That thing looked crazy. Oh, it looked insane. That looked like a nightmare. <sighs> and I, b- I believe who makes the uh, who made the images for Scorn? Who was the artistic designer behind that? Uh, I believe is um, is it uh, Iger? H- yeah, H H H R Iger. H R the yeah. guy from Aliens, right? Right. He 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 got like a oh, Academy Award winner for, why, for that's why for it was that so alien okay. art strategy that he does. It's that's his type of work. Mm-hmm, that's oh, his type wow. of work. Yeah. Yeah, I've always really appreciated the artwork of Aliens. It's it's, uh, it's pretty unique for sure. Yeah. Um, I mean, you can. L- I mean, the way like it pans out and it goes like by scene, you can see all the inspiration that kind of Aliens yeah. that they have. You know what I'm saying? Every, mm-hmm. The bodies look so similar. I thought it was like Prometheus the game or something. <laughs> it looked like that. <laughs> Wait, didn't they make an Alien games before? Yeah, they made them before. Pretty, yeah. Sure Were different, different, different was studios. it the same guy? Was he behind that as well, or like was well, he not? No, or just was, just the art though. Like you know that like that artsy style of like, like a gore. gothic yeah the cathedral gore. yeah oh yeah that's what it is yeah, yeah so th- gotcha, that's gotcha. that's what he's that's what he's done that's his work and other people as well uh but you see that you know what i'm saying that mm-hmm. environment that they show in, in the trailer and stuff so it's it it's, it's dope man it looks like a scary game yeah sure. it looks, insane. It looks right. insane you know when uh when they were filming aliens mm-hmm. uh they were using you know re- as much real props as possible so they got oh, a, wow. an actual guy to fit into an alien costume oh, really? and they actually met this guy at, i think it was in india is where they met they found this guy yeah he was a he was a waiter or something and the guy was like almost seven foot tall and he was a what? waiter in like in india or something oh, wow. like that and like That's crazy when they were having like dinner or, or not dinner but lunch or whatever yeah and so the director of aliens i forget his name do, mm-hmm. do you know the director really yeah. scott I think so. Yeah. For the um, first one? But yeah. So yeah. he he saw him and he was like, "Hey, you know, would you like to work on this movie?" And the guy didn't know what it was about, but of course he signed up because you know it was a good paying gig. Yeah. Gotcha. And then so like <laughs> and so actually the guy would walk around in that suit, the alien costume at all times. <laughs> so it was actually a real guy in that costume. <laughs> what? Yeah, the That's crazy. That's cool. Mm-hmm. It does actually now that I'm thinking back, especially because in those times the the graphics weren't the level that they are today yeah. yeah it looked real good like it looks mm. like it was a real costume yeah, so yeah they sense. had to rely more on using like uh physical actual props kind of yeah. like how they did for the star wars franchise yeah. early on yeah. a lot of that stuff was actually you know not cgi so mm-hmm. and i see yeah, i see where you're going because like w- when you watch the first alien film you actually like they go like they go to the planet right lv423 or something like that and they land and then they go into this this place that looks just like uh, one of the scenes that we just saw in Scorn, and yeah. and you can kind of see the um, all the things that are going on, yeah, and stuff. So yeah, uh, another cool thing about Aliens is uh, when they were like directing that movie. Uh, one of the most uh, infamous scenes from Aliens is you know the classic like alien popping out of the chest kind of thing. 
Oh, yeah. Oh, you guys yeah. remember that? Yeah. yeah. All right, so that was actually done without mm-hmm. telling the actors that that was going to happen. Oh, so yeah. the I only thing me. that they were told is that something scary was going to happen <laughs> and that they were to react, like, you know, you know, dramatize it, you know, yeah. when it happens. But they weren't told what it was going to be. So I think it was a girl, right, that, like, that it happened to? Like, I think like, so. Like, it out, I like, think in front so. of her or something? Yeah. Yeah, so it, it happened to her, and she com- obviously didn't know what it was, and then it just, like, burst it out. <laughs> and, then, and, of course, she, like, freaked out. And, Bruh. And that, but that whole scene was, like, done without them knowing what it was going <laughs> to be. That's crazy. Yeah, no, it is, yeah. I hope that game is, like... It would be cool if it had something to do with the alien world, because it looks it, like it. it. Would, yeah, it'd be interesting. I mean, I saw what the, like, the weapon that the the first-person shooter's holding. Like, you yeah. know, like, you see what your weapon you're holding. Clearly some sort of alien technology stuff. Mm. Um, looks just, like... It looks very gory. But yeah. you know, we'll see. We'll see where that game goes. There was no, a couple so. games around that. Yeah, like those uh, that they showed. The racing game Dirt Five. Uh, I, to be honest, I've never even heard of that. I've uh, heard only of the, ever, the only like racing games that I've ever heard of was like Forza and like obviously like Need for Speed back in the day. Yeah. Have you guys played any of the Dirt games? Yeah, like, no. yeah. I've, I've, I've I've played on the 360. Well, which yeah. ones? The first um, one or what? It was like Dirt Two, I think. How was it? Yeah, it was, was good. It, about? it was good. I what mean, it, nothing. You're just racing. You're just in, <laughs> you're just racing the yeah, dirt. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. I mean, <laughs> they're like rally cars. Oh yeah, yeah. that's what I was about to say. I, I kind of figured so, like rally cars. Yeah, yeah. And, and you still have like nitrous and all that cool stuff. It's oh, not snap. like it's not like a simulation like Forza. You know what I'm saying? I'm Wait, Forza, Forza simulation? Yeah, Forza is a simulation. What? Of a, uh, a car? Yeah, like a, <laughs> I don't drive know. and stuff. Uh, I didn't know that. I you thought it was just like it's not like Need for Speed. Oh, okay. Yeah, this you know, Need for Speed is like, like a storyline and like a, oh, yeah. okay, you have okay. the girl, you know what I'm saying? You have this car and stuff yeah. and maybe you could do some crazy maneuvers yeah, and stuff. Yeah, yeah. It's kind of easy to handle with, right? Uh-huh. Fours, on the other hand, is a little bit more like, hey, if you guys want to take this, if you want to feel what a car feels like, if you want to feel how this car feels like, then we're going to oh, kind of show you, you know what I'm oh, saying? Okay. So that's how you the can like drive through harder, like, the woods and stuff like that. Like You can drive through anywhere. Right, right. Before. And there is, okay, a, there is yeah, there's like Forza has this other one, um, Forza, Forza Horizon. That That's the one you, I played. That gives you a little bit more of an ease, like type oh, wow. feel with the cards. You know, you can actually have more fun with them. You know, you can go off, off and to <laughs> the like Grand Theft Auto. It's just like, <laughs> <laughs> but it's yeah. bougie. It's right. like Grand Theft Auto, but bougie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but um, yeah. Any other games that stuck out to you guys? Um, there was this like Yakuza looking game. Okay. I forgot. I forgot what it was called, but it was this dude who uh, he had, like superpowers basically. Yeah. It was it was interesting. Hmm. But that was the only the other game. That was like the last one until they showed uh, the Assassin's Creed right. gameplay footage, which I didn't see any like gameplay. It uh-huh. just looked like more trailer stuff. Yeah, true. You know? They're probably trying to save true. it. They're probably trying to save it. Yeah, I mean it's probably still in, in you know alpha development. Like, yeah, mm-hmm. development. You know, it's, it's still got a ways to go. But I mean, doesn't Xbox come out this like like this comes Christmas the, around yeah, there or whatever? It comes out holidays. Holiday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's I, right I, around the corner. I'm interested to see if like any of that stuff's postponed due to the. Corona. I don't think so. You don't think so? I don't think they'll postpone it. Uh, no, I don't think they will, yeah. but I could see if it possibly like push back some work right. some sort of way. Yeah, I mean, it, it would be better if they release it during the holidays because obviously, you know, holidays, people are trying to spend money, gifts and stuff. So yeah. yeah. Uh, I could see how That's they'd usually try really how it hard goes. to keep it, keep it on track. I don't yeah. know. I'm excited. I'm going to buy the Xbox X for sure. Xbox? I, I, haven't, I haven't played video games in like, or at least console games in like six seven years man right. <laughs> like i'm excited to try that out because you know like i said i haven't i haven't played any console video games in forever so i'm interested mm-hmm. to see what it's gonna be yeah. uh, do you guys know the price of it what's the, the price of it yeah i don't know no one knows yet unknown i Lucky bet it's gonna be like 500 dollars for real probably i mean that's what the xbox one was when it came out dang for real i don't remember so i don't dang. can't can't say it's right or wrong don't remember we'll fact check it yeah and if it is, we'll put like a cool like <laughs> congratulations. It's a banner above me. But uh, yeah, I have heard the price tag. Congratulations, of, uh, you're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I have heard the price tag of it being four ninety nine and. Hey, that was a totally yeah. blind guess. Yeah, so, yeah. I mean, yeah, I wouldn't be surprised because I mean the specs yeah. are obvi- are are pretty decent. Not gonna oh, yeah. lie. I mean, I mean like, there's the specs look crazy. Now I feel like we might not be able to tell because of what we have now. We have ten eighty p screens. You know what I'm oh, saying? If yeah. your TV's in 4K, you're really not going to see it. Not only that, but, like, it's it's just not... I don't think the Xbox Series X is going to be meant to be played on a normal TV. I think you're going to need definitely a 4K monitor. Oh, yeah, for sure. Something mm-hmm. with high a high refresh rate, mm-hmm. right? And um, that's, what's, that's what's going to give you the, uh, oh, wow, this is really yeah. next-gen level yeah, it's gonna stuff. Optimize it. I'm really right. curious to see how it's going to look. Mm-hmm. Uh, I wonder if they're going to do bundles uh, like they had with uh, Samsung before. 
Uh, they used to have bundles where, like, if you bought a 4K TV, you could also get an Xbox oh, One for X. Real? Which, I mean, I can see, see that happening. It makes sense uh, from a marketing stand- uh, mm-hmm. stance. I got you. Okay. Oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, it was cool, though. Yeah, definitely. We'll have to see what they come up with next. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs>